going on guys? New back again. Hope you guys are doing good. And uh, like I said before, I'm going to be back with uh, some more manga and comic book stuff. So today we're going to do some manga, if you know from uh, the title of the video. Uh, I know I've been slacking with my video. Well, not really slacking. Um, kind of slow with it because, you know, work and all that. No excuses. Um, anyways, we're back. And I'm going to show you this, uh, this manga. And it's by uh, Junji Ito. Junji Ito. Um... And he does some like crazy work, man. Like I'm gonna say, like I'm just gonna dub it right now, like the Godfather of Horror Manga. Um, <laughs> it's some crazy stuff. So he's got three books. I have all three, and I'm just gonna post them up here to show you. So first book is Uzumaki. Um, I got my Wu Tang uh, bookmark here. Love Wu Tang. Anyways, uh, basically Uzumaki is uh, Japanese for spiral. All right, here's a spiral into the horror. Uh, and basically the whole, uh, story is that there's this town and they're consumed by the spirals. And so he's got a bunch of these stories in here and they're like, they're totally out there. Like his brain, I don't know how this guy comes up with these, but just amazing to see how like imaginative he is. I think he's like, he's pretty old dude. He's like in his fifties. Um, and he's still like, he writes these books and they're just so so crazy and out there but i actually like it it's, it's interesting you know, like at first when i read him like i didn't get into it because it was kind of like just weird but uh you start sitting down and you like get to the story and you kind of want to know how it ends it's pretty cool so this one right here the whole town is like consumed by these spirals so you'll see like uh i don't know one guy will be consumed by uh a spiral that's like a uh slug or a snail and so, like, the spiral comes on his back, and because he's a slow person, it kind of uh, assembles to him like like that. So it, it's it's kind of weird, like, just the weird how, how everything clicks together. Um, I'll show you guys some some art. Um, let's see, how are we gonna do this? Here, I'll, I'll show you the first cover page. By the way, uh, if anybody hasn't read a manga before, it's a right to left. That's the way the Japanese do it. So look at this art. This art's pretty nice. Um, that's a spiral there. Some crazy stuff going on. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, there, something like that. Like, look how graphic it is. It's just so weird and nutty. Um, really like Uzumaki. Pretty cool book. Uh, if you guys don't have it, uh, check it out. If you don't even know what it is, check it out. Um, anyways, on to the next book. I don't know if this was the first one that he made or it was this one here. It says Tome. Uh, Tome is another one of these, and uh, it's basically about this girl, and she is. I haven't got around, uh, around to reading it. Um, if you see that, are pretty thick books. But anyways, tell me, uh, it's about this girl. She, like, kills everybody and, and stuff like that. No use escaping Tome. So she, she kicks ass. Uh, <laughs> and, there's, and there's a huge description on the back as well. But, um, yeah, this is another artwork. Uh, this is, like, I love the way these books look. The black with the white and the, the, the gray and the red. It just pops really well. And, uh, yeah, like I said, like, this, they're all horror mangas. And uh, here, I'll just give you a little sneak peek here. Some uh, some of the artwork. Pretty cool. Very nice. Very thick though. If you're gonna like read this on your back or while you're laying down, or like I do when I, right before I go to bed, eh, probably not suggesting that because you might fall asleep and hit your face. <laughs> but uh, anyways, and this is the last book that he's got. Uh, Junji Ito uh, Gyo, and Gyo is about these uh, monsters from the deep. So it says the death uh, stretch creeps, uh, Gyo. So there we go. Just a little description. Smell of death hangs over the island, and uh, creepiest masterpiece for manga ever from the creator of Uzumaki. So anyway, basically they're just uh, these strange creatures like that. They have like feet, and they come on land and they eat people. <laughs> So, uh, those are the three books right here. I just wanted to show you guys that. Just a little talk, a review, or whatever. Uh, just, you know, putting out some of the stuff that I have in my collection. Uh, you know, it'd be pretty cool to know what you guys got in your collection. Maybe you guys want to check these out, or maybe a little, need a little bit more information. Uh, let me know. I'll just talk to you guys in the comments section. So, there is the three from Junji Ito. Uh, in my opinion, godfather of uh, horror manga. Maybe, maybe he's not, maybe he is, but for me it is. Uh, these are the three books. We got Tomei, Uzumaki, and Gyo. Um, definitely go check them out if you guys uh, like these. Uh, if, if you don't, you know, it is whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for me, I, I like these. They're pretty sick. Really cool scheme going on inside of the books, too. His brain, in my opinion, is really cool, especially when you're, you're, you're reading it. You get to explore on, like, what the hell is going on. Like, he just goes all over the place. It's amazingly drawn, very graphic. 
if you're into horror manga, these three are must. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off here. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. Comment down below. I'd like to talk to you guys. Other than that, I'm taking off. Peace.